There are only two possibilities. We are alone or we are not. Both are equally disturbing. The idea that life emerged only here, on this tiny blue dot, seems statistically absurd. Out there, there are hundreds of millions of stars. If just a fraction of those stars had planets like Earth, there would be thousands of potentially habitable worlds. Life may be common. Many worlds might host biological forms. But perhaps few ever develop consciousness, language, or science. And of those that do, perhaps none survive long enough. A barrier in the evolution of life may prevent civilizations from spreading among the stars. Maybe they are out there, hidden, observing from a distance. Or maybe they simply learn something we haven't yet, that in the universe, making noise can be dangerous. After all, who would scream in a dark forest without knowing what lives within it? But if we are alone, life would be an extraordinarily improbable phenomenon, and Earth could be a cosmic exception. The precise conditions required for sustainable ecosystems are so rare that they have never been repeated. This would reinforce the idea that we were created by a higher entity, a being or intelligence that designed us and placed us here for a reason. And that raises a question. Why would it isolate us? Why would a creator make such an immense universe full of worlds and galaxies only to leave its one intelligent creation confined to a single planet? Why such a colossal universe just for us? Perhaps out there exists something, a threat so vast, so silent, that silenced all who ever tried to communicate. Or life is a unique accident, and our extinction would be the end of all consciousness in the cosmos. Meanwhile, here we are, staring at the stars, wondering if someone else is doing the same, unaware if we are the first or the last.